You might be wondering how my frog and I get thousands of wins or how we get streaks like this. Well in this video, I'm going to show you my top tips and tricks on how we do this. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel and this video is going to take forever to make. But more importantly, here are my top tricks and strategies to help you guys win all of your Bed Wars games. Trick number one, and probably the most important, uh, practice block clutching. This is something I use multiple times every game. I don't know if I've gone a single game without doing a block clutch in a very long time. Ways you can do this are custom games. You can either use TNT like I'm doing here to hit yourself off into a random direction. Or you can usually just jump off and catch yourself because that's a little bit easier to start out. Tip number two. Play games with absolutely zero kits on. This will help train you to play without a kit, so it'll be all pure skill, there'll be nothing else impacting you. I'm going to quickly go through a demo game I played without a kit to show you a few things that I caught and a few things I do that were very important to winning. First big thing I noticed in this game, if someone ever does this, will they fall and take a bunch of damage like that? always chase them down. Little moves like that are very punishable and even if they have a better sword or better armor, 9 out of 10 times you will win that fight just because they're taking a bunch of damage from falling. So unless you know they're going to get away and they're already healing, uh, chase them. Also with that, you can buy small stuff like snowballs and a uh, bow because if you hit them they're healing counter reset so it'll take longer for them to start healing again also right here you can see someone is chasing me i get bowed i get suffocated with, and i take a bunch of damage now one thing this person didn't do is chase me down you see them chasing me here but once i get armor they instantly run they could have easily killed me and that leads into another thing, always play confident. Now I'll be honest, this is something I stole from Dream talking about his manhunts. If you play confident, people will always think you can beat them. You saw I was super low, and just because I was being confident and running in, they got scared and ran away. Even though there was no way I would have won that. Them not chasing me and finishing the game ultimately led to me winning. This next trick is more for my PC players. There's, you can't do this at all on mobile, but it won't impact you to not be able to do it on mobile. It's just a way to work around something on a computer. But if you are on mobile and you want some tricks unique to mobile that PC also can't do, my friend will be making a tutorial very soon. So I'll leave his YouTube in the description. So go subscribe to him so you don't miss that. And if you're on Xbox, just don't. So this trick is to set your mouse keybinds uh, to your last slots. Before this, I actually wasn't even using my 7, 8, and 9th slots because my hand couldn't reach that far. If you're a can, this really doesn't apply. But once I set buttons on my mouse to that, I was able to use three more items, which really helps me. This next trick is that you can actually throw pearls up to three blocks through the four. Shout out to DV because I actually didn't know this until I watched his guide. But as you see, that's three blocks tall. I threw it through, and four pushed me away. So if you're falling in the void, you can do this. And as you saw earlier on this map, if someone ran into your base and you needed to get out, you can pearl through the roof and run away, like I do right here. My very last trick is to be resourceful. Don't waste stuff. Now you might be like, what the heck does that mean? My biggest one, don't buy axes above a stone axe. I'll try and find a stream clip because I didn't get one on video today, but I never go above stone axes, because you can three hit beds and that's usually more than enough. You can always go up to diamond and break speed one to one hit them, but I never need that at all. Also, don't waste blocks. A lot of you might be thinking you need to learn tele bridging to get good and run away from people. Well, it's cool, it's a flashy move. It's actually not good. You do not want to do that, because that waste blocks and you can always just tower up or you can 
block clutch off the side of the map and box yourself in. So if you see other YouTubers do it, it's really just for the video. I hope they don't do that. <laughs> it's part of the normal play style. Because it's actually not good. You're just wasting blocks. My last and final tip is learn how to block yourself in and break beds. This is probably the most generic one. Uh, you've probably seen this everywhere. Just block yourself under this and they can't really hit you. Very efficient, very easy to learn if you're good at block clutching. I do this most of the time. The rest of these will be related to blocking yourself in. Just the different types of common bed defenses I see. So for this one, as you saw, I placed the block above me and blocked myself in, leaving one space right here. Now you can use the one stone you'll get to block yourself off and break the bed. And as I mentioned earlier, if they're trying to stack on you, you can pearl out like I just did. For box defenses like this, I'll usually just run in like this and place blocks there. Uh, there's not many better ways to do it, but the second one, you can actually do this, where you break in through the top and box yourself. This one will only take two blocks at most, and is not as efficient, because you have to break it first, but it's definitely saving you more blocks. And if you have shears, it won't even matter. That's about all I could think of for this video. Like and subscribe so you don't miss part two. And tell me if you like this. And comment down below if you had any extra tips to add. I might pin one of them. But once again, thank you for watching and have a good day.